Welcome back to part 9 of my Metroid Prime Remastered playthrough. In this video is finally going to be the long promised gum chewing video. So I'm going to unwrap the gum right now. I'm going to do two pieces. chair squeaks it is indeed very loud so I'm gonna need to be more careful of that so I make sure to go through my videos I need to edit out that squeaking unfortunately but besides that I think the first video sounded talking in the gum chewing ones just because the chewing kind of takes the place of talking but we'll see I also need to get some hard candies or something or cough drops probably uh, hard candies would be more enjoyable experiment with that a little bit this area. Seem like there's anything blocked up. Exclusive. 
briefly by purple stuff here. something this time and I I'm not just on the complete wrong path again. So if any other ASMR artists end up listening to this, I'd love to hear if you actually listen back to all of your videos. I mean, it makes sense. You want to, like, make sure there's nothing in the video that you've missed, like that squeaking of the chair or something. But I hadn't even considered that when making ASMR videos up. I'll probably have to listen back to each one, which I have like 15 hours of videos recorded right now. So listening back to 15 hours can take quite a bit of time. I should probably, I guess I can kind of skim through at least an editing, soft, editing software. Hopefully I'll be able to see any type of audio peaks skim to those parts. I'm gonna put even one more piece of gum in. Why does mint do that? 
Like, how does it make water feel colder than it is? Monster. Nice more missiles. chosen the wrong path. But I don't even know what's going to be in here. It just loops back around. I'm sure I probably missed something obvious in the ice area. scarabs out. Showing isn't really annoying. Yep, I do need the grappling. God damn it, where am I supposed to go? this door right above where I started. <sighs> Part of me just wants to undo 
my save. Or revert to my save. But I did get that extra missile capacity that I'm going to need at some point anyway. You know what? Is there an option just low? jump. That's a good sound, that's what you like to hear. Look at these freaking 
pounds. soon. Feels like I'm priming the stage for some type of boss fight. One way access hatch entry point lies elsewhere. Wow, well, I probably should have scanned this place. This unanchored platform floats on the surface of water. so they'll rise with the water. I see. water drain out so quickly. Act. 
Thanks for Glacier 1 security zone accessed. Personnel bound for research area proceed directly to checkpoint. Schematics for research lab Hydra access to access. Research lab Hydra proceed through the wave doors to the south. We're only at 26 minutes, so I'll keep going. jump. Whoa, what the fuck is that? I do not like the looks of that thing. I just shot. Okay, that's just a turret. What the heck is this? I don't like the sound it's making. Well. sentient aggressor species while trained in weapons and melee combat. Space pirates wield galvanic accelerator cannons and forearm mounted scythes in combat. This species seeks to become the dominant force in the galaxy. And their technology may help them realize this goal ruthless and amoral. The pirates care little for the cost of their ambition, only the results matter. And they take that very seriously, or take them very seriously.
spooky, not gonna lie. Glad I have that extra help tank. Forest fields accessible only through space pirate bioimaging. Impossible to breach. Well, that's not a very positive attitude. shooting at me from further back. exposing Talon Force indigenous parasites to phase on appear to be successful. Increase in strength, size, and aggressiveness are common in all test subjects, as well as unforeseen evolutions like additional poison sacs within the abdomen and the appearance of a second ring of mandibles. In several subjects, these creatures were chosen because of their resilience, and it appears possible that given enough exposure to face on, they may one day be able to survive on any planet we transport them to. Our methods will have to be refined. We currently have a 100% extinction rate after the fourth infusion period. And most survivors of the third infusion stage are so violent and uncontrollable that they have to be euthanized. Even still, we remain hopeful that further experimentation will result in success. Well, at least they're not easily deterred. Face off fluid path levels at 70%. Checking diagnostics per procedure 12038. Increase acidic acidity levels recorded in face on and amno amniotic bath. There we go. This is likely a side effect of phase on ingestion by test subjects. There's a lot to scan in here. Predator awareness indicates even in cold stasis. Euthanized after psychotic ep episode scheduled for removal. Expelling phase on into the environment. A 
this material appears to possess the power to mutate organic life forms sufficiently to withstand its poison. These mutations appear promising, with abrupt evolutionary leaps appearing in single generation reproduction. Plans to establish a full science team on Talon 4 are being finalized. Mining operations have begun near the crater where Phazon appears to be most concentrated. Daily Phazon yields have increased 44% and our mining system becomes more streamlined as personnel and equipment flows increase. Several incidents of Phazon-induced madness have been reported, prompting augmented life support regulations in the deeper chambers. Symptoms include loss of equilibrium, erratic respiration, muscle spasms, and in the most extreme cases, hallucinations. A timeline reassessment for the refinery operations is recommended as the materials prove more unstable than initially than initial analysis indicated. Xenome 5 or SA or 5A is undergoing relocation to Lab Hydra. Subjects transfer ordered after a pronounced increase in Aberrant behavior, security clearance ADR 13. Okay, let's go upstairs and see what awaits us there. There are a lot of life forms on my scanner. My missiles really launch these guys, or gals. Absorption mutation has led to unexpected degeneration of internal organs. Log 10-6642, research outpost Glacier 1 in the Fendaran. Fen... I'm not sure if I'm saying this right. Fen... Sub-zero temperatures have made the Metroids sluggish and easy to control, even those well into phase-on infusion cycles. Cold containment stasis tanks are sufficient for the juveniles, but some of the larger Metroids have been moved to quarantined caves for safety purposes. Security doors remain an issue as malfunctions due to ice occur every day. Large predators in the waste are also a concern, as they continue to kill personnel and breach secure areas. Unfortunately, it has become clear that our containment team 
forms cannot neutralize all of them without a vast increase in mutations and soldiers. Tissue samples from stasis tanks must be hand carried to lab hydra for analysis to notify security of all material moves. Daily decontamination is now required for all personnel working in lab. Aether. Those turrets do some damage. respawn. Shit. Never mind. Not worth it. Crap. Now this is this stuff for the game? Never mind. 
of the spiral sector detected a massive energy spike emanating from a wandering glass planet identified as Talon 4 Scout Reconnaissance was immediately dispatched to the center of the spike, a landmass at Edding Mark 408802, returning with planetary samples and atmospheric imaging. Analysis shows the energy source to be an unstable radioactive material of enormous potential. We are unable to form an accurate risk assessment at this time, but we are unlikely to find an energy source as powerful again. Analysis will continue, but currently Talon Force appears to be a viable secondary headquarters. Phase on mining is underway. Several garrisons have been established, and a terraforming of the Chozo ruins is underway. Security systems are operational, and science teams continue to make progress in their biotech research. The Vendaran Drifts have proven to be an optimal location for research headquarters, and soon they will be joined by a fully operational combat base in Starport. If command's predictions are half true, we shall rise to dominance in this sector within a cycle. Truly, these are glorious times. Okay, I'm almost going in at full power. Let's see what happens. Zoom. I love that sound.
trillion teratons. Ecosystem studies indicate that Talon 4 was a biological paradise prior to the impact of an extraterrestrial object. What remains of the biosphere is slowly fading due to exposure to phase on radiation. At current rate of decay, Talon 4 will be a barren class 13 wasteland in approximately 25 years. Nice, I've scanned 50% of the logbook. I'm going to skip through some of the stuff. I'm not going to read every, every planet. using the power beam. Press and hold. Eight. scan one of these before. Save stations. Step into these stations to save your game and fully restore your energy. Well, that was a decent episode besides the quitting out and coming back to avoid backtracking, but I'm glad we made some progress and it seems like we're on the edge of another boss battle, so hopefully episode 10 will be an exciting one. I forgot to do my plugs at the beginning as always, but if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you want to check out any of the gear I'm using, check out the affiliate links in my bio. And most of all, I just appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope you've enjoyed this journey, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. I hope you have a nice night, and see you in the next one. Bye.